This is an incredible update. Just when I thought things couldn't get any better, I actually mean realer. FreePic comes out with a massive game changer. Generate the most realistic images you've ever seen. So is this the beginning of the end for Midjourney? I'll let you decide that, but in order to do so, you first need to see the secret weapon that FreePic has. And it actually wasn't even that long ago that FreePic implemented Flux, then came Flux Realism, which was then the ultimate hyper-realistic generating machine. But it turns out Free FreePic had another mind-blowing release, and that's exactly what this video is about today. FreePic Mystic, an amazing model that generates insanely impressive realistic images. Just look at some of these mesmerizing examples. And of course, in order to celebrate this new amazing feature, I have an amazing prompt for you. But not just any prompt, a prompt generator, one that will generate some of the most amazing and realistic models you've ever created. Check the links in the description so you can get access to it as well. But now let's just get right into it. Okay, so here we are now in free pick. And so if you don't have access to Mystic yet, don't worry everybody's gonna have access to it very soon. So on the left-hand side, you can see I have Mystic already selected. If you just select your model, you still have Flux Fast, Flux, Flux Realism, and then Classic Fast Classic, and now at the very bottom, Mystic. Right now, this is definitely the number one best prompt generator for AI images when it comes to ultimate realism. Coming up, the most amazing prompt you've ever seen. Back to Free Pick, and here it is on the left-hand side. Just select a Mystic, and now that's gonna be your model. This will work very well with a simplistic prompt. However, it really does take off to the realism level once you have the proper prompt to use, specifically when the prompt is going to contain some very good adjectives and descriptors when it comes to camera lenses, angles, or professional photographers. And so that is why I am giving all of you this amazing prompt generator today. This database contains nothing but prompt generators, which are prompts that generate prompts based basically making you never need prompts again. Once I expand it, look how long this prompt is. We're gonna utilize this prompt to get some incredibly impressive images. In fact, I have never been more impressed with the clarity and realism with some of these images. Okay, so first things first, we're back over here in free pick. And now this is where you're gonna go ahead and then paste the prompt in over on the left-hand side. But it's just not a prompt. Remember, this is actually a prompt generator. You put it into an LLM, like chat gpt or claude and you're gonna be amazed with how this magic works let's come back over here into this mega database again let's go ahead and then just copy the whole entire prompt right here now it is very long but that's really not gonna matter because we're just gonna let chat gpt do all the work for us once you have the prompt copied go ahead and now paste it in now look as i scroll up you can just see how long of a prompt it is but here is why this prompt is actually so special because what i actually did was say i want you to create not only realistic AI images, but look at this. I specifically gave it examples of specific camera types to use, okay? So we have three right here, including the red Komodo 6K and Sony Alpha 1. Then it has multiple lenses to use as examples to generate some sharp, focused, cinematic images. Continue scrolling, more adjectives, more descriptions, and I even provided it with camera settings. We have aperture, ISO, shutter speed, angles, and composition and then right here perhaps one of my favorites stylistic references this is going to include examples of cinematographers anywhere from roger deakins known for his mastery of natural light and stunning compositions and then it gives the example of the movie blade runner 2049 continue scrolling we have directors photographers and then we have keywords and phrasing okay not only that the icing on the cake is going to be you're not only going to get one prompt but we're going to tell ChatGPT to give us five, okay? Now, all you have to do is just copy and paste this prompt in. You do nothing else. Let the LLM guide you. Go ahead and now click submit. Now look at this. The first thing we get, ChatGPT says, what is your subject for the prompts? Easy. Now, all you have to do right now is just tell ChatGPT what sort of an image you're looking for. So for an example, the last time I used this prompt, let me show you what I told it. An enchanting yet powerful, beautiful cyberpunk 
pinup girl. And just based off of this simple sentence I provided it, but your subject doesn't even have to be that descriptive. You could just put in something way more simpler from just a beautiful woman, a supercar, a tropical beach, etc. But I want to get something a little bit more descriptive. So what I said was a beautiful woman in an unknown world. Now, who knows what I'll get? I could get a cyberpunk, futuristic, interstellar type world. But let's allow ChatGPT to come up with its own creativity. That's my subject. Now let's press submit. And then look at this right here. Instantly, prompt one, prompt two. It's going to give us five prompts. And then watch this. Once it's done, it says these prompts are designed to evoke a sense of wonder and cinematic realism. If you want it to create more, just simply say five more. There we go. Now I have prompt six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So just like that, we're not getting one. We're not getting five. We're going to get 10 amazingly realistic prompts to use in Free Pick Mystic. You can keep the process going and you can keep telling ChatGPT five more, five more, etc. You can get basically an infinite amount of prompts. Now, going down to prompt two, we have a red Komodo 6K. Prompt three is the Sony Alpha 1. And then again, we get a lot of different variations and camera types we can use. So for an example, let me show you a few more. Now, this prompts database is going to be my mega prompts database, but I went ahead and I added a new tab up here specific for Free Pick. Let's head over to Mystic and look at these fascinating images in Mystic. Okay, so let's go ahead and then come back over here to ChatGPT and let's simply just copy and paste a few of these prompts. Now we're gonna head back over here into Free Pick Mystic and let's go ahead and paste it in. Notice this, if you've been using Flux, you'll notice that you can't select different styles. However, in Mystic, you now can at least have more options to choose from. But for me, I'm just gonna leave it blank because Mystic does such a good job. Once you're ready to go, let's go ahead and then select create. Okay, so many of my images are finalized and I gotta tell you, they look amazing. But first, let me now show you this little trick. Now, I already got 10 prompts, but now look down here at the very bottom. Now what I did was I just told ChatGPT, now, Please do a prompt for a beautiful woman, half woman, half goddess, in a bioluminescent, vibrant world. And so the reason why I'm adding a new prompt is because when you start to combine some very unique style keywords, like you see right here on your screen, now it's gonna take things up a notch. And I specifically said bioluminescent, but some of these keywords right here that you're looking at are gonna be some of my absolute favorite. So I do highly recommend integrating some very unique keywords as well. And so in this database, right here I have a lot of those keywords the images are gonna be even more impressive all right so let's come back over here and now let's go ahead and then hit enter in chat GPT now it's gonna give me even more prompts specifically to my new subject and there it is okay a stunning portrait of a beautiful woman half woman half goddess let's just go ahead and copy it but let's also look at the history and what I was able to get in mystic with those other prompts okay so here we are in the history and here are all of my recent mystic images Images that I literally just got with this chat GPT prompt generator I just shared with you. This is just fascinating, especially with that bokeh effect in the back. Again, beautiful looking image. I just can't tell you how impressed I've been with all of these. The details, everything is amazing. Now you could tell it's not really taken that long to generate. It does take longer than other models, including Flux. And when you do use Mystic, you're only going to get one generated image at a time. Nine times out of 10, and that one image is more than enough. Just look at this one right here. Fascinating. Now let's go ahead and then deselect photo and then regenerate it by selecting create. Another thing you do want to keep in mind is look over here in the bottom left hand corner where it says create. Now to use Mystic, it is going to be a lot more expensive. This will use 240 credits per image. Now, you might think to yourself, that is expensive. However, FreePick is very generous with the amount of tokens you get, specifically for other models, even if you use Flux. I would just highly recommend using Mystic for when you know you have an amazing prompt that you know is definitely going to generate an amazing image. That's exactly why I made this prompt generator for you. That way, you can rest assured knowing you're definitely gonna get a good looking image with any of these prompts. And with that said, we are back over here in Free Pick now. And
And then there is the final image. I just am more and more impressed every time I see these. So there you have it. Another mesmerizing, impressive update by FreePick, and that's going to be Mystic. So remember, check the links in the description so you can get access to this prompt, try it for yourself, and hopefully you can generate some amazing looking images as well. But thank you so much for watching this video, and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time.